Speaking of Taylor Swift, her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey, has praised Australian crowds who came out to support the pop star in her recent tour, and he called Australians effing loud. Are you surprised, not surprised? It's something to be proud of. Yeah, well, is anyone... Uh, this coming from Travis, by the way, who can't seem to say anything without screaming it almost unintelligibly, uh, <laughs> it is, is a bit of a surprise. But all crowds scream when they're at a concert seeing the person that they've come to see. So I think this is more just an American pat on the back, like, you guys are awesome, but I very much doubt that that sets us apart. I, I like to think it's just how Travis just sees the world. It's like, I just like everything loud! That is it's, how it's like when he was talking, when he was screaming he at his coach... He his theory, by the way. It's <laughs> very, very loud. When he was, um, you know, screaming at his coach during the Super Bowl, he almost spear-tackled him because he was upset about not being played enough. Maybe that was just a quiet chat. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe just Travis, that's like, oh, excuse me, sir, would you mind if I got some more plays on the board? I think it may well part? be. Well, OK, well, look, finally, I've enjoyed having you both so much on, uh, on the panel of Power Hour, but woke officials at the Department of Veteran Affairs attempted to ban this iconic photo from agency buildings. Now, the photograph is from World War II at Times Square, and officials claim that it no longer fits, this is a quote, values of the department. Now, this was quickly reversed. The Secretary, De Dennis McDonoghue, I should say, posted on X to clarify that it will be kept in agency buildings. Um, why was it banned in the first place? This is so ridiculous. And the story behind that iconic photo is so beautiful. The guy was actually on a date. They were in the movies. They heard this big hullabaloo outside, come running outside, realise the Japs have just pulled out of the war. This is looking really good and everyone's going crazy celebrating. Him being a sailor sees a nurse. And, of course, nurses were absolute legends during the war. I'm sure you couldn't find a man in any uniform that wasn't supremely grateful to them. Grabs her, plants one on her. The, one of the women in the background in the photo laughing is the girl that he's on a date with <laughs> and she laughingly said when later interviewed, in all the time we were together, he never kissed me like that. That is my first thought. What happened to the date? Because that is, of course, the great um, uh, the, the great story behind this thing is he just grabbed... It wasn't some. It wasn't a couple who were together. It was yeah. the guys who were like, oh, my God, we've just won. I'm going to kiss the nearest person. Um, obviously, it didn't work out so well for the president of the Spanish <laughs> women's football team. But, um, but, again, I just... You know, I, th this is just another example of the crazy woke left just ruining things for yeah. everybody, especially the normal mainstream kind of centre-left because every single soldier, every single veteran for whom that photo is an is a example of all they've fought for and the joy of that sacrifice at the very mm. end of, of that having been for something, that gets wiped away by some stupid, faceless, humorless bureaucrat who doesn't even realise how psycho, humorless and faceless they are until it actually gets splashed out in the public domain. Everyone goes, holy crap, is that... I mean, how many other little people, little moles in little little walls in various faceless departments are actually thinking like that, think, oh, what else can I go and find? Oh, that's non-consensual. <laughs> yeah, like the, the, the Department of Veteran Affairs doesn't have bigger fish to uh, fry. Yeah, How about so. looking after your vets, you mate? Yeah. So, I mean, let's let's worry about an 80-year-old photo that has brought that's, joy yeah. to everyone for generations. Liz Stora, Joe Hildebrand, I've enjoyed having you on the panel so much. Thank you so much for being on Power Hour. Great to speak Thanks, with you. Thanks, Gabrielle.